to the did a video right before I took off the fan. But this is basically what it's kind of like with no fan. And with the fan on, it sounds like a jet engine roaring. And I think because my um, clutch plan, this is the third one we put on here because of accidents and things, but this one seems like it just stays locked up. It doesn't release like it should at, at the right speed so that it um, takes the load off of the engine, and, and but yet still um, locks up enough to turn the fan and cool the engine. So it, from what I've been reading on them, there's a whole lot of these that do this kind of thing. They just don't lock up or they're too loose, one or the other. And this one, I mean, are they lock up or they're too loose. And this one definitely locked up. You drive down the road just at practically idle and it's roaring as you go. So I'm going to go see. It's a lifetime warranty at Auto Zone, so I'll replace it out. Okay, I went down to AutoZone, swapped out my lifetime warranted um, Duralast clutch fan. Just finished taking it off, putting it back on here. I'm gonna take a look at something different here. Um, the other one was locking up. Basically, it seemed like it would never release. So it was sounding like a jet engine all the time, just roaring, roaring. Um, the difference here though, with this new one is, watch. It kind of starts to slip a little bit there, but watch when I stop. It rotates a little bit afterwards. The other one would come to a dead stop the minute it stopped, which in a way is good, except that the engine's cold. And it shouldn't, it should kind of slip while it's cold. And then later, um, well, I, OEM ones are a little different than the aftermarket, but aftermarket, I guess when it gets up to temperature, that's when it'll kind of, um, start to lock in at a specific um, temperature and then it'll drop down some. So where you have trouble with these things, a lot of times it's going to be in the in the winter. You're going to be cooled in the engine way too much because the fan is running all the time. And this way, when it, once you get up to speed, it should slow down and kind of halfway disengage just to use the airflow from the engine. So I'm going to go take a quick run here and let's see what the sound of it is. Okay, so we're just idling backwards to get out of the yard and it's really quiet. Before the other one would be just like and it sound terrible. It sound like um, when you're driving down the road it would sound like it's down and stuck in a lower gear and even if you're doing 10 miles an hour it sounds like you're doing 40. So let's see how it sounds going down here. Slipping and it's quiet. Oh, how nice. We could drive to the end of this road with the other one and it would be just roaring the whole way down. And this is nice. Nice and quiet. That's the way I remember this truck being. All right, so the third clutch fan I put on because there was accidents and parts had to be changed out. But that last one was brand new and just didn't work from the beginning. It was always really locked in and noisy. So after a little research about fan clutches and how they work, pretty much came to the conclusion that this is what the issue was. And sure glad I had that lifetime warranty with AutoZone because I was able to just get down there, swap it out. I bought this one back in February. So we've been kind of trying to figure out why it's so noisy all this time 
and got gas mileage was terrible. It was eating up the power. You try and drive, and it's like you're spending all this power just trying to turn the fan. And then the gas mileage was going way, way down on the truck. So this is real nice now. I'm happy with this.